Hi, this is TapCat. I'm recording this as an introduction to part 14 after the fact uh, because I discovered after I was done that I had a problem with the recording similar to what happened with part 2 of this series. So uh, all of the footage of the base is intact and most of the fighting also. There's a segment at the end where I fought two mutons inside of a building that unfortunately was not captured. My first inclination was I just wasn't going to post this part at all. I really dislike posting incomplete videos and I think it makes for a pretty poor viewing experience. So if you're interested in just watching a single video, you know you probably want to skip this one and uh, try one of the others in this series. But uh, what I realized is I had done a ton of stuff at the base before the mission and there is a lot of combat uh, that was captured. So for anyone who might be trying to watch the entire playthrough and uh, you know wants to get that experience, uh, for their sake I am going to go ahead and post what I have. But I did want to put this at the beginning so that you don't simply just uh, you know, watch uh, like 20, 25 minutes, whatever it is, and then uh, have it cut off on you at the end. That's sort of cheap. So at any rate, I hope you enjoy watching this, or if you're not interested, please try one of my other videos. Thanks. Hi, this is TapCat. Welcome to part 14 of my playthrough of XCOM, Enemy Unknown on Classic Iron Man Difficulty. We have just a little bit of business to take care of here at the base and then we're going to get going. So we're going to buy one more laser rifle and then we're going to start excavating so that we're ready to build our uh, alien containment center early next month. Okay, so we can now get the plating and we'll go ahead now actually I think I'll go ahead and do this I'm I'm torn between the two I would like my sniper to have that but let's let's just do this okay and we are three days away from a council report and we have satellites to launch so let's keep a close eye. Right. complete boy you gotta really watch that time I tell you okay um, so we have a lot of places that we would like to launch my original plan was to hit these three countries and, um, you know, lock in the continent bonus for South America, protect Africa from any more um, abduction missions, and then we would only have to worry about Europe and Asia. So the problem is, if I do that, obviously I'm losing Australia. Now, in and of itself, you know, it's possible that's not the end of the world, but yet, you know, do you really want to just throw a country away? <sighs> so, my concern is... Up anything new on radar. Haven't gotten right. any outside reports either. One I know I want to launch over is Argentina. I guess before I, before I say that, Russia would be a contender. It's the only place in Europe that's really a problem. Yeah, this is tough. See, I really want the bonus here because then we could start doing the autopsies uh, immediately and just burn through all those uh, research projects as well as uh, when we start capturing guys, we just knock those out at instant speed. But I think... I need to try and um, keep my panic levels down. 
We're gonna go ahead the gear we have available right now. and launch over Australia. Well, that's too bad. We're going. Yeah. The combination of their panic level and how much you get from launching over them, that was pretty compelling. I hate uh, right <laughs> giving up 70 for... Alright, well, I want to take at least one continent off the board for... Um, abduction missions and given what I've already done this is the only one I can do that so alright not sure that that was the optimal placement but it's done and with that Incoming transmission. excellent work commander this council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile we hope that your current okay. successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. So we have money now. Remember, we will be watching. And let's go ahead and start building the generator before anything else. And then we're also, I can't build the Nexus. Yep. I really would prefer to build a Nexus, but I'm just short on so many levels. I don't have alloys. I would have to wait until the generator was done. That part wouldn't be the end of the world. But then I also have to scrape together close to five engineers? Oh, I need two engineers. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and order the satellites first. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at oh full God, capacity. shut up. We yes, should build additional I know. uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Okay. These alloys, man, they're killing me. <laughs> uh, I really would love to buy laser cannons to put on the uh, interceptors. But, um, yeah. All right. So, I think we'll hold off and see if we could get some alloys and just two more engineers. Then we'll build the, the Nexus. All right. Let's see what kind of mission we get. Satellite coverage now available over Egypt. Well, I would gladly do this to get the money, but the problem is, it, once again, the alloys. Satellite coverage now available over Russia. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've... All right. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the Hologlobe. France, Japan, UK. So, I'll tell you where I want to go is, is France. Uh, that's like kind of a no-brainer for me. If I, I would actually almost rather just lose Japan outright, but to get a heavy captain, that would just be so huge for me. So, also the fact that, yes, um, Japan's panic will hit five, India's will hit five. I'm going to launch at least three satellites this month, and if I do, I can bring both of them back down. But, uh, I, I'm going... I'm going to take the uh, 
the heavy. I need that too badly. And we'll keep Europe down on panic, which frankly I'd like at least one place to be that way. Hmm. Okay, so let me bring up uh, originally I was going to bring a couple of rookies and well actually I guess I'll still bring her it's just I want to make sure I bring him so let's um, let's clear him out for the moment and I believe yeah so what we're gonna do is just um, strip the armor and stuff off of them and put it on the heavy All right, and I guess I'll leave him with the grenade. Nah, I'm going to give him the scope. I want him to hit stuff. And then the other thing I'm going to do uh, is just buy a heavy laser real quick. It's funny, no sooner did I get that, and yeah, now I'm basically out of alloys. Uh, I had just finished the research when it seemed like everything went off the rails, and I didn't have a heavy available for a while. Alright. So... Ah. Uh. All right, I've, uh, I guess I've just sort of screwed this up. Who am I bringing here? I've got two support. Do I really want two support? I might. I kind of want to work them both up. I definitely want the one heavy. I definitely want the one assault. I definitely want the sniper. Who would I bring if not one of them? I don't want the third support. I don't think I want this assault, although maybe I do. Yeah, okay. I'm going to strip her gear. And we're going to put it on the... Uh, and this guy's basically my backup assault now. Oh, well, screw it. We'll make her the backup assault. Why not? We'll even leave her with the shotgun. And then let's make sure Sue's got armor. And somehow I've managed to leave armor on somebody else. God, this is so... Who else would have it? He does. All right. Hmm. And he had a med kit. So does that mean Sue doesn't have a med kit? Yeah, that would have been a fail. Okay. All right. I think we're good to go. Visual on the mission site. Setting down. France is sending an urgent mission request. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating... So if we can get through this mission without any casualties and pick up this heavy uh, captain, we'll actually be pretty well on the way back from recovering on Central, the people we lost sky. a few missions ago. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. So we'll have at least point. two of every um, squad member type other than a sniper. 
And granted, some of them are not high rank, but baby steps. And we are going to throw a scanner and see what we can see. Eyes in the sky. Okay, we see thin men. Mutons. I see. I wonder if it's possible to trigger them without triggering them. Because I would very much like to do that. Okay, she can't see them. Just out of curiosity, how close is he? I mean, he's got the range, actually. He can't, he, the only reason he can't do it is because he can't see. So... I'm actually... Boy... Yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay, so the risk I was taking is if I trigger them, then I'm in deep trouble. But next turn, I believe I can just go boom. And between the rocket and the fact that I'll make the cars explode, that should just kill both mutons. And that definitely seems worth the use of a rocket to me. And to make sure we don't do anything to disrupt that, I'm going to keep everybody back. I don't want to do anything to trigger them and make them start moving around. Um, Alright, I'm just going to move this one up a little closer. Alright. And we'll put him on Overwatch, that's fine. Okay. What the? <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting job of teleportation there. So does that just totally screw my plan? <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I don't know that they're near a car anymore either. So now I can only do this if I move up, and then there's no guarantee they won't trigger. Is this even enough if I move up that far? I don't think it is. Man, that's kind of brutal. If I, and if I move here, there's a very real chance I'm going to trigger them can't really go over here because then I won't be able to see them. I, won't, I just won't have line of sight to do anything. Wow, I really fell in love with that plan. Um, kind of turns my stomach that I won't be able to do it. I would love, I mean, if I could get a rocket in here and kill all the thin men too, even better. Okay, well, I am prepared to... Uh, 
Alright. I knew I was risking triggering them, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't going to get the shot I wanted anyway. So... Yeah, she can't she can't even see him, so we'll just do this. And interesting, we did only trigger the thin men. Yep, that's fine. So if they want to hit us, they got to come up here. And I'm pretty okay waiting and, and letting them do that. All right. I was hoping those mutons would teleport back to where they came from, but no such luck. Alright, well, we did it. Okay, oh, we did better than I thought. I, I thought we wounded him, but we actually did kill the one. Not a nice. This was a very good Overwatch turn. For us. Okay. Let us see. Even if, the, uh, if we don't get the benefit of... Uh, I am not confident we're getting them. I think I'm only hitting one. And I'm I'm not going to use the rocket on that. So, let's move her up. It's full cover. Yep, I figured it would activate them. And... What I was curious to see is if they moved up forward rather than back <laughs> so I'm pretty sure you're not getting both right like if, if this gets him actually I take it back I think I am all right let's do it we're gonna try awesome and so it was a slight variation of the original plan, but we got there. So we just took out what are probably the two most dangerous guys in this whole mission. Okay, uh, this is Tabcat, and that was the end of what I had managed to record, other than just a few more moves. Uh, honestly, this is in some ways a better ending than the actual end of the mission. We went into the building found two more mutons in the warehouse and had a bit of uh, a battle where we just kind of maneuvered our way through the cover at a fairly slow pace and managed to whittle them down until we killed them but kill them we did and then that was the true end of the mission so at any rate if you get this far I hope you enjoyed watching uh, I've filmed or uh, recorded the next several missions already and there were no similar problems so uh, certainly if this one left you uh, wanting more then you'll get it in the next ones thanks for watching and we'll see you next time